Hello everyone, I'm Cloud and welcome to Anime Nomi. Today we'll talk about Gear 5's transformation with the new information from the One Piece anime, where now an old possibility has just been confirmed in the promotional image of the Wano saga. Finally we'll see Luffy Tiger Man. And I already count on your support to leave your like in today's video to help the channel. I also count on you to subscribe if you're still new here. Let's go to the video. Guys, as we know Luffy is currently facing one of the biggest battles of his life, personally facing one of the emperors of the sea, the young Kokaido, who has a gigantic power and has already defeated the straw hat pirate a few times. Now Luffy has told all of his companions, mainly Yamato and Mamonosuke, that he's going to defeat Kaido alone, and everyone has entrusted the end of this confrontation to Luffy, who is now using a new power. Luffy recently discovered the existence of the Conqueror's Hockey in an advanced way, a power different from the use we are used to seeing in the anime. Even though the Conqueror's Hockey is extremely rare, this way of using the Hockey is even rarer. The leader of the Pirates of the Beasts revealed that the way he used Hockey and the way Luffy is now using that Hockey was a power used by few in history, a power used by the King of Pirates himself as one of his main forces to defeat your opponents. Now we found out that Kaido by using the Conqueror's Hockey in an advanced way, he becomes almost invincible in most attacks, but he was vulnerable to attacks that also used the Conqueror's Hockey, especially the use of advanced mode. With this way of using this power, Luffy was able to hit Kaido and knock him to the ground, but even though Kaido is now visibly tired and weakened, he is still much more experienced than Luffy when it comes to using the Conqueror's Hockey, and that's it. Can make the confrontation between them difficult. After all, even though Luffy knows how to use the Hockey in an advanced way and has used this knowledge to be able to face Kaido, this power is not an advantage for Luffy, it only reduces his disadvantage. All of this then indicates that Luffy will still show a new transformation, a form he must reveal using his new power to defeat Kaido, and all of this has already brought some clues that now seem to have been confirmed in the promotional image of the anime, Gear 5 or Gear 4 Tiger Man. As we've already commented here on the channel, Kaido's power is the Great Blue Dragon, and in his story, we can also see a mighty tiger that initially many believed would be the power of Yamato's devil fruit, but in fact, all of this can be related to Luffy, after all Yamato already had the fruit revealed. When researching the stories related to the origin of Kaido's powers, we can see that in several stories and mythologies the relationship of the tiger and the dragon would be equivalent to the yin and the yang, but what would it really mean? In a quick survey we see that yin yang is a principle of Chinese philosophy, where yin and yang are two opposite and complementary energies. And we see in several stories that many believe that these forces would be the energy that formed the entire universe and that they are the representation of everything, including good and evil. All this explanation just to see the first connection between the tiger and dragon, showing so a confrontational relationship between them. And now returning to Luffy and the rivalry between tiger and dragon, during chapter 985, we saw a colorful cover, where Luffy was wearing a t-shirt with a number 5 that could represent Gear 5, and he had tiger references on his clothes as well. Now during the promotional image of the thousand episode of One Piece in the Wano saga in the anime, we saw that behind Luffy there is a tiger hidden, showing even more the connection of the hat pirate and the beast pirate with the dragon and tiger story. And as we know to this day, much of Luffy's power came from his training with Rayleigh, and this training was not shown in detail in the manga, but we know that Luffy trained with several animals that after the two years they lived together, if have become friends of the straw hat. And the form that Luffy improved to win his toughest battle, in this case against Katakuri in Whole Cake, was the Snakeman form, which is currently considered Luffy's most powerful form. It could be that observing the giant animals in their training, Luffy created new transformations, or new combat styles, based on how he saw his giant animal friends fighting. However, for his powers to really be strong enough to face the enemies of the new world, Luffy would have to perfect each of his powers as much as possible, so surely he created techniques that he hasn't perfected yet. However, he would not have improved with the knowledge he previously possessed, but now Luffy's powers have completely changed thanks to the new training and concepts he came to learn in Wano. After all, it was there that Luffy discovered the existence of new ways to use hockey, powers that he had previously used to improve his gear 2 and 3, and also to create his gear 4, after all these gears became stronger thanks to Busashoko hockey. But now he has learned to use this hockey in an advanced way, which indicates that Luffy will further improve the powers he already has, and also create new powers, after all he now has the power of internal emission and destruction. With the power of emission, Luffy is able to expand his hockey's range of action, making him able to strike an opponent without even having physical contact, as well as being able to send the hockey's energy to hit your opponent from the inside out. This knowledge was also used by Luffy to improve his Conqueror's Hockey, then learning to use the Conqueror's Hockey in an advanced way, which allows him to use Hockey to attack his opponents. This new way of using Hockey would allow Luffy to be able to create new ways to use his Conqueror's Hockey, which would also bring Luffy the possibility 
possibility of creating a new gear finally arriving at gear 5. So Luffy already has the necessary knowledge to create a new gear, he learned new ways to use the powers he already had, and he evolved even more the powers he already had, now using them in an advanced way. And thanks to all the information hidden in the promotional images, and also on the opening page of chapter 985, we've seen great references about Luffy and the Tiger's connection, and also the battle of the Tiger against the Dragon. Luffy's transformation will be the Gear 5 Tiger Man, and we don't expect only Luffy to have a big increase in his power, and also a new transformation. After all they are getting a giant increase in their power, Zoro has just revealed to be able to use the Conqueror's Hockey, and Nami is fighting alongside of Zeus again. In fact, as I've already commented here on the channel, all Straw Hat pirates seem to have the necessary requirements to be able to use the Conqueror's Hockey, which is the most important power for Luffy's growing power. The Conqueror's Hockey, as I said, is extremely rare, and it's the only hockey that's impossible to learn. After all it's the Conqueror's Hockey, you can't learn this technique. You are destined to achieve this power, because you are destined to do great things in the future. Not only that is this hockey, was called by Treble, and later by several other people as well, as the unique hockey of those who have the quality to conquer everything, those who can be great kings, or better, those with unshakable desires, and at this point you can understand better what I mean. But then, as we know with the king's hockey powers allow the almost physical manifestation of its user's will, the power of its desire manifests itself to the point that by its simple existence it is already capable of knocking out those who have a weak will. We watched as Shanks effortlessly took down several of Edward Newgate's crew just for being there, while being told that weak people couldn't stand in front of that man. Then we saw Luffy unconsciously using that power over and over again, and at various times taking down hundreds, and even thousands of people, all of this showing the strength of his will, the strength of his newly awakened conqueror's hockey. Many people still say that the king's hockey is a hockey used for intimidation, to automatically show in a confrontation the level of the enemy that can face its user, after all the weak ones don't even stand up. Not only that, as one of the literal meanings of the Haushika hockey, it is the ultimate hockey of the conqueror type, which automatically shows the difference of this power to any others in the One Piece world. And as we know, Luffy now uses this power as his main technique to face most of his opponents, and now, he is maximizing the strength of this power with the use of advanced mode. And his companions, all have a great desire and an unshakable will, they all want to be the best in the world or the first in the world in their respective areas, all have big dreams, such as being the greatest swordsman in the world which is the Zoro's wish, who recently awakened the hockey of the conquerors, further proving this point. But comment what you think about all this in the video. Don't forget to leave your likes in the video to help the channel, and also subscribe if you're still new here, the channel is new and needs your help. Thank you so much for watching our video so far, your support is very important, see you in the next video, bye.